What is good guys and welcome to today's video. We've got something very special for you. I've got James here with me and you know that in the last couple of videos we were talking about how we're going to be coating the pistons and a bunch of stuff like that and I wanted to actually show you guys how the whole process is done and just show you how simple it is because everything that James was telling me I was like man this seems like way too simple of a gig and he was like yeah man we'll show you. So this is his oven where we're going to bake everything in today and this is pretty much everything we're going to be using. Uh, airbrush kit with a little like mini sandblaster and stuff he's got set up here we've got all the pistons here um, and the different coatings so do you want to run us through like these three different coats uh, yeah they're just specialty coatings from Cerakote so you got mm -hmm. the uh, piston coat this is for your really high temp inside the engine okay coatings. yeah um, so that would go on the top of the piston on the right top of the piston. it's on the crown here yes correct okay and then you have the micro slick which is basically allows a more slipperier surface for like when you do oil and stuff so that would be piston skirts oh the skirts so just like how wiseco now cp doesn't have this but wiseco have it on the skirts by default correct cool and then the last one we have is the arctic black which is um basically it's for like your radiators your intercoolers so on and so forth okay so that's like a special compound that's designed for absorbing heat it, it absorbs all the heat okay so there you go. All right, so I think today with my pistons, we're coating the tops because my Wiseco ones already have the side skirts done. So we'll be putting this one on. Then Chris's is getting both of these two, side skirts and tops. And then I'm gonna be doing my intercooler with this Arctic black um, because that's this, like painting an intercooler black compared to that, just using normal paint. Paint chips off. Paint. You, see, you can see a lot of them that's been painted yep. that the paint just peels off every yep. time. And do you think that there's any benefit to putting paint on compared to the benefits of that? Probably not. I would yeah. have to say no. It I just makes it look black. Exactly. Yeah. It's more look. So this is actually designed chemically to absorb heat, right? Correct. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Sick. Well, we're going to uh, get stuck into it. And I'm going to film as much as I can and show you guys the process. I'm really excited, honestly. Like, and, and it's so simple. Is this just like a smoker's oven? Correct. Uh, it's been re-insulated. Yep. And then I put a different element in it so it can get a little hotter. Oh. And that's just kind of like a homemade type of oven for powder coating and things like that? Yes. Awesome. That's fantastic. I can't get over that. That's so simple. And anyone anyone could really do this at their own house, right? Correctly. There's plenty of how-tos and so on and so forth. To look Sick. Up. But yeah, anybody can do this. All right, so we're going to set up everything out here. Obviously, uh, we want to be away from cars and stuff when we're doing a little bit of sandblasting, but we're only using this little small thing, <laughs> and we're only doing the top, so we don't need to worry about, like, you know, covering up a whole bunch of stuff. We'll do it out here in the driveway. Let's get to it. So James has been working hard. He's already uh, taping all of the ring lands on the pistons with high temperature t uh, tape and that tape's going to withstand like what 400 degrees 500 degrees about 500 degrees yeah. yeah cool and obviously the purpose of taping up the ring lands is so that none of the coating gets in there and none of the sandblasting gets in there because we don't want to mess anything up in there Correct. it's kind of like the most important part of the pistons i'd say because that's where it seals against the, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the bore of the block um so yeah I'm, I'm so excited to see this process i hope you guys are pumped so James all masked up and he's uh, currently working on the tops of the pistons. It's kind of crazy, like this little airbrush sandblaster. You can see the, the pattern there if I zoom in over his shoulder, yeah. Everything that's kind of darker than the rest of the piston is what he's already hit and roughed up. And that's just to prep the surface so that the ceramic coating has something to stick to. So James has already done two pistons now and you can see how the coating on the top has all been kind of like stripped back and it's ready. So what I believe he's gonna do is heat these up in the oven before he then applies any coating to them, uh, which I think will just bake off and burn off anything that shouldn't be there, essentially. He's got two more left to do. Working hard. Now, I was asking him if it was like actually sand the compound that's in this stuff. It's actually like an aluminium kind of powder. And I was starting to think, maybe we could uh, make some thermite with that. Anyways, <laughs> he's nearly done with that one and he's got one more left. And then um, I guess the, those will start getting heated up and then he'll start working on Chris's pistons. It's, it's so insane when you look at the difference between mine and his and how his arisen like this for the high compression so much. And the 1.8 literally makes these things look so much bigger. Just 0.2 of a displacency and the pistons look that much bigger. It's kind of crazy. So I've now got the four pistons in the oven baking and the temperature's already rising up to 200. Now we need to get this sitting at 400 for 30 minutes, right? It's actually 300. 300. 300 for 30 minutes. 300 for 30 minutes. All right. Oh, it's going up. Sick. And we got a timer set and everything. And now he's working on Chris's pistons, taping up the ring lens on that. Now, when you're doing the skirts, are you going to tape off like the sides or anything like that? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and tape off down this side and this yep. side. Just uh, so I only sandblast the area that's needed. Awesome. 
Hell yeah. Oh man, this is so fast. Thought it was like this huge long process. Well, we haven't even started coating these yet, so maybe maybe I should uh, bite my tongue there. <laughs> So I've just pulled my Wiseco pistons out of the oven. We're letting them cool down because they need to be cool when we apply the ceramic coating. Once again, the main reason why we heated these up was to burn off any grease or any contaminants or anything like that on there just so that the surface is perfect for applying the coating. After we've done that and we've put mine back in the oven for uh, setting, we'll then be sandblasting all the Chris's and doing the same process on his, which I'll get some really nice B-roll of. But for now, just kind of waiting, playing the waiting game, and then we'll start. Time to start coating the very first piston. Is there any trick to this, James? Not really. There's no. not a lot. It's just simple. Put a decent coat on it, and then uh, we'll go from there. Cool. This stuff looks rank. Oh, it smells. If you, if you guys had a smell cam, that, that stuff. Is smell bad. cam? Yeah, that stuff is bad. <laughs> I wish we could have filmed your reaction to that before. No, it was terrible. That's funny. It looks really runny, hey. Mm -hmm. Is that just like a little filter or just a funnel? Uh, filter now. Wow. Looks good. It comes out so consistently. I've never used an airbrush before. It looks like fun. <laughs> There's not a whole lot to it. Oh yeah. Done. Then we gotta do a second coat. Yep. Let it sit for about five minutes or so, let it uh, tacky up a little bit, and then we'll put a second coat on. Okay. So will this stuff dry without an oven? It'll dry, but it won't cure. It won't cure. It won't cure correctly. Okay. So after this, of course, we'll put it in the oven. Yep. And we'll go from there. It looks so nice. Look how quickly James just smashes this out. So good. We're now onto the second coat. Man, it really is simple. Like there's nothing to this. So good. I can't believe like something this simple makes a drastic change to like preventing, you know, heat getting into your pistons, con rods and crank and stuff. So now the coating is finished and all that has to happen is these go in the oven now and sit at what temperature? 300. 300 degrees for the next hour. Yes. And that'll get that to cure and then uh, ready for putting in the engine and making boost. I'm excited, so simple. <laughs> it's crazy that something just like this, like putting a small, like a little coat, like two layers we've done, two coatings of the ceramic coating makes such a big difference. Just opened the oven and mine are ready on the top and we got Chris's down there now which are gonna get baked and cleaned off. But mine are ready to cool down. They look amazing, all cured. You can see that the colors kind of changed. What a difference. Oh man, I'm so hyped. So good. And now, because we did do two, two coats of this, this will change the compression slightly and raise it a tiny bit, but really not anything to worry about but just something to keep in mind. Oh man, that turned out so good. So Chris's pistons are all finished now, and as you can see, the skirts have all been done, 
the tops have all been done. They're still a bit warm. Put them back in the box, but they are ready for Chris's build. Are you pumped, Chris? I am so pumped. Dude. Hell yeah. I'm so excited to make some real boy power with a uh, um, actual stock Miata engine. Well, I guess it's not stock, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, it's not an SR20, but let's see if we can kind of keep up with the SR20. And make it reliable, right? All the reliable. You got that oil pump on order, right? You know, if you keep telling me enough, I'm going to end up ordering it. So Everyone go to his channel and tell him in the comments right now to get that oil pump. Maybe five more times, I'll probably end up ordering because I'm getting a bit annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so massive thank you to James, man. You're an absolute champion. I'll put his Instagram info down in the description. If any of you guys are in the Florida area and you're local to him, you want this kind of stuff done, hit him up in the DMs on Instagram and he'll be happy to sort you out. But yeah, dude, these came out amazing. Even mine look incredible. We pop these boxes. Well, mine's kind of... mine came out better? Um, I, I, <laughs> you just want me to say yours are better. Like, you do have the better pistons. I'm not going to lie. Cause you, like, oh, you hear that? Look at the size difference. Dang, dude. I got the better pistons, man. You just... <sighs> I guess I'm winning that build off. You ain't winning nothing, man, unless you get dude, that oil pump. I'm winning just because I'm frame banging. That's it. <laughs> you going to be frame banging? I'm going to laugh. Like, we go drifting, you get beached and can't move, and I'm just, like, doing donuts around you. Like, how does that feel? That would be pretty funny. It would be pretty funny. But, yeah, no, nah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. It looks so good. Ooh, yeah. So, check it out, guys. We've got the intercooler in there, which is coated with the special ceramic black stuff. Hell, yeah. That's actually coated with the real stuff that does something. And this thing over here that I think Chris left here. It's just coated with regular paint. So this one should be a lot more efficient. The ceramic coating's like actually meant to absorb and dissipate heat. So we should see a much better result on something like this compared to normal paint. So I'm pretty pumped. This build is getting so legit, it's insane. <laughs> so there you guys go. A super simple video showing you the entire process of ceramic coating your pistons. I am super pumped with the results. It looks amazing and I can't even wait to put them in the engine obviously and see them in that block with the fresh deck and everything. I think this is going to look sick. But obviously let's talk a little bit about the science of it. Now you guys can jump on YouTube and you can look up other videos where people test things with blow torches and you know show show you the differences with the thermometers and stuff like that. But essentially, if you were to grab a standard piston and hit the top of it with a blowtorch compared to one of these, you would see the ceramic coating taking all the heat and kind of deflecting it off the piston. And the piston, the bottom of the piston wouldn't even really be getting that hot. As in, the piston without the coating is going to get super, super hot and potentially even start melting in the center. So, the main reason why you want to do this kind of ceramic coating stuff is it just protects the piston. It stops heat from getting in there, traveling into the new con rods and your crank and stuff. It keeps things cooler. Now, if you have E85, that's an even bigger bonus because that's going to keep things even cooler. But it's just a way of heat managing things. As well, it's an added protection against things like detonation. Now, of course... If you're going to be having Detonation City for a very long time and like the tune is rubbish, then of course there's nothing that's going to save that eventually other things will break as well and, the, and you know probably even the ceramic coating will probably break. But it's going to protect you from a few detonations and stuff like that. It's just going to increase your chances of things not breaking if that were to happen. So anyways, all that aside, I'd love to hear your uh, thoughts on the whole process. If you have any experience with it or any knowledge on it, I'm only telling you what I've learned today and from what people have told me and what I've Googled. So I hope you guys are pumped. I'm really pumped. This build is seriously getting even more legit as every day goes by. It's honestly insane. I never thought I was going to be doing a fully forged build like this with ceramic coating and all that kind of stuff. It's insane. I'm also pumped about the intercooler. But anyways, guys, smash that like button. Leave us a comment. Go grab yourself some merch. Don't miss out on getting your entries for the Miata giveaway. This car's going to be epic. And I'm kind of jealous of whoever's going to win this because I really kind of want to keep it. Anyways, peace out, guys. Ciao, Mata.